Hey everyone, so I'm just gonna record this video without stopping. It's quite cold today and I have a, a thick insulation sock wrapped around the camera just to try to give it a bit, bit of extra warmth. Sometimes when the cameras, they get cold, the batteries die down so quickly. Um, my body's very sore today, but I just wanted to get a nice gentle workout in just to kind of loosen up my body, get the blood circulating around to try to help recovery and just to, good to exercise, good to lift the spirits, make me feel a lot more uh, mentally sharp and uh, feel better. So I'm just putting on my Lonsdale boxing boots at the minute. I haven't worn them recently, so I decided to uh, wear them today. So these are Lonsdale boxing boots. I've had them for several years. They've lasted a long time and they weren't even that expensive. You might be wondering, are boxing boots better for jumping rope in? No, I wouldn't say compared to running shoes. Running shoes are easier. They tend to be easier to jump rope in. But uh, boxing boots are good if you want a little bit more stability around your ankle, around your lower leg. But generally, a lot of boxers, when they're skipping rope, they often just wear running shoes. So today, I set my timer for approximately 30 minutes, just when I hit play there and I put the sock around and I got in front of the camera. So now I'm talking to you and the clock is running down. Once I get these tied, I'm going to jump rope for the entire duration. So when the clock rings, that's when I'll stop jumping rope. So grab your jump rope and you can follow along with me. As I said, the intensity is not going to be high, but I'm going to try to jump rope for the entire duration that I've set the timer for. And I'll mention the moves that I'm doing and you can follow at home. I'm going to begin with the two foot hop and I'll, I'll, I'll do that for approximately one minute and then I'll switch moves. I'll go to another move and I'll continue in that fashion. So I don't have a timer. I have one timer that behind the camera but I don't have a timer that's gonna ring every minute. So I'm just gonna jump jump rope, change the moves every so often, every about a minute. I'll just kind of keep track of my mind or change moves when I kind of feel like it. So this is it. I just rotated my ankles before I left the house. So just the two foot hop. Notice here when I'm doing the two foot hop, both feet are together. My upper arms are next to the side of my body and I'm focusing on spinning the rope using mostly my wrists and your forearms will also be involved. I'm not jumping high off the ground. I've only been jumping for what, 20 seconds maybe, 30 seconds? I can already feel my calf muscles starting to burn. The two foot hop, it's often the first move that people new to jump roping learn, but it's surprisingly taxing for your lower legs in particular. It can really work the calf muscles. On some boxer skips. When you do a jump rope move and you do it while moving around in a circle, as I just did there, it can make an even basic jump rope move become a lot more difficult. You have to coordinate your jumps with the rope as you're spinning around. Doing the basic boxer skip now. And I'll do this moving backwards, forwards, side to side, diagonally, have some fun, play around 
with your jump rope workouts. You don't have to stay in the same place. Make use of space if you have it available. And as I'm talking right now, I'm inhaling with my nose and then when I talk, the words obviously come out of my mouth. So I expel the air as I talk and then I inhale again using my nose. Okay, now I'm going to do some one foot hops. Show you from the side. You can lift your leg higher. You can lift, keep it down low. Put it out front. Back to the boxer skip. The boxer skip is a fantastic move to use in between other jump rope moves. Cold day today, but geez, the air is so fresh and the sun is shining. So great to get outside, get some sunshine on my legs, get some cold exposure going as well. By wearing shorts, even though it's winter time, you can still get some vitamin D from the sunshine. Looking forward to this weekend. Uh, boxing British fighter Kel Brook is making his return to the ring, so I'm really looking forward to that. Being a fan of his for quite a while, I'm a fan of a lot of uh, British boxers from uh, Sheffield in, Engl in England. A lot of guys trained at the same gym. Prince Nassim Hamid, Johnny Nelson to name a couple. Okay, now I'm gonna go into the jog step. Gotta be careful, there's a clothing, the telephone wire there, TV cable, if I hit that, I'll have a lot of upset neighbors. So this is the jog set, and up the intensity by just spinning the rope faster. Nothing too, nothing too crazy. Just trying to shake up my body. Oop. So if you have a jump rope, follow along. I did the regular two foot hop, the boxer skip, some single leg hops, some jog steps, and now back to the boxer skip. And you can do a variation of the boxer step. So right now I'm doing just a very basic boxer skip. I've made a some videos on this move and now I'll do the jab step I've also made a, move, a video on this move so you're mimicking throwing a jab you're pushing your front leg forward with each hop I'll show you this from the side so this is the orthodox stance
I hope the camera doesn't shut off before the timer rings. Hope to get this work at all on uh, video. Recording in the winter can be hard sometimes. Batteries run out so much faster because of the cold. Back to the boxer skip. And that jab step, you can also do it in a southpaw stance with your right leg forward. One thing, when you jump rope for long periods of time without stopping, the jump rope handles can get slippery as your hands start to sweat. I'm going to go into some single doubles. I've made a video on this move. It's a very fun move. It's a cross or a mix of the jog step and one foot hops. So it's jog, jog, hop, hop, jog, jog, hop, hop. Great move. And you can add some hops. Hop, hop, hop. When learning though, it's a good idea maybe to do the same amount of hops. So hop, 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 hop. And just continue like that. And then you can just mix and match. You've been going backwards. Forwards. So anytime you move forwards and backwards, you are working your spatial or spatial awareness and your coordination. Your body has to position itself in space while you're moving and just there's a lot more coordination involved. Okay, do some crisscrosses. Not nothing fast. Nice, gentle workout, but difficult because I'm not taking any rest. I'm just skipping continuously. And of course, talking to the camera adds another dimension or another level of variety, of intensity. You throw in a few double unders, what do you think? I don't really like to do too many double unders anymore around here while I'm in my neighborhood just because it makes a lot of noise. And uh in recent months, some of the neighbors have had children, so I don't want to wake them up. So nothing too crazy here today. I've been doing a lot of videos in other locations. I often go to places that are kind of secluded, so there's not many people around and uh, the noise won't bother anyone. It's just nice to be in seclusion sometimes. Okay, now I'll do some 
scissor steps. Back to the boxer skip. Another nice variation of the boxer skip is some toe taps. Sunshine is heavenly. I'm gonna go inside after this, drink some fluids, shower, have some fruit, and then shortly afterwards, I'm gonna go meet a friend. We're gonna go eat some uh, curry. So, looking forward to that, looking forward to hanging out. Some heel toes. Feet crosses. 